Hello, and welcome to PrimeMed. I'm Rick Zeef, and I've been working at PrimeMed for over 18 years, traveling across the country to over 100 CME events. I've had the pleasure of meeting thousands of clinicians while fielding thousands of questions right here in my information booth. Some of you who join us year after year may recognize me, and I certainly see a lot of familiar faces out there. I have found that certain questions come up again and again, and though I welcome you to swing by my booth and ask me anything, we thought we'd put together a little video to address your most asked questions. I'll give you my top five helpful hints to show you how to make the most of your time at the conference and make it as enjoyable as possible. Number one. To expedite check-in, be sure to have a printout of your registration material that includes a barcode. I'll show you how it works. We'll bring this info to the express registration desk where you'll check in. I'm going to play you for a minute, which is great because my mom always wanted me to be in medicine. Come on, let's go. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. Welcome to Prime Ed. Thank you. Here's your badge and your bag. You just want to make sure you're putting your badge in your badge holder located inside the bag. And you just want to make sure you're scanning so you can earn your CME credits. Good. Thank you very much, Lauren. You're welcome and enjoy the show. Thanks. Now, before you go into your first session, there are a couple of things you'll need to do. Tear out your badge and put it in your badge holder. Next, you want to make sure you have your tickets for any break time events you registered for. Your tickets look like this. This brings me to number two things to do during session breaks. Throughout the day, you'll have a few session breaks. And during these breaks, you can visit the many booths in the exhibit hall, grab a snack or lunch at the exhibit hall cafe, or attend one of many ticketed events. Which gets us to number three on the list, ticketed events. There are two types of ticketed events that take place during the session breaks. One is the non-CME presentation theaters. These presentations provide a review of the latest tools and treatment options. The other is delivered by prominent thought leaders in educational symposia. These are accredited sessions offering you the opportunity to earn even more CME. Now, I just want to make one thing extremely clear here. Your badge gets you into any of our Prime Med Core educational sessions. You may move freely from hall to hall. It is only the break time activities that are limited in size and therefore ticketed. If you didn't register for break time activities ahead of time, you may still get tickets once you get here. And the way this works is that we give out tickets each day for events happening on that day. So if you want to go to a ticketed event on Friday, you should come to the ticket booth on Friday morning to get your tickets. We give out tickets on a first come, first serve basis or you can always wait in a standby line at the event itself. After you select your ticketed events for the day, it's time to go to the session room to hear the first lecture. Oh, but before you go, be sure to pick up your PrimeMed Daily. This newspaper has the schedule and session room locations and lots of information. You can pick up your daily in the bins located near registration or here at my information booth. Oh, and if you want to make your smartphone really smart, get the Meeting app. You'll enjoy access to information on the go, including an interactive course schedule, itinerary builder, exhibitor listing with booth map, and more. See the PrimeMed Daily on instructions for downloading the app. This brings me to number four, ask our staff. Look, convention centers are big and often very confusing. So if you ever need help with directions, ask a PrimeMed staff member. They're all wearing these nifty badges or follow the signs that are all over the place. And that brings me to our last number five, scanning your badge for CME credits. Before you enter the room, be sure to scan your badge. In order to get your CME credits, you will scan two times per day, once upon arrival and once after the lunch break. It's easy, simply place your badge under the scanner, that little fuzzy gray stuff, and wait for the beep. Then we'll add up all your credits and make a single certificate for you. We'll send you an email in about a month to let you know it's ready. Well, here we are, back where we started. Hopefully you're feeling prepared to get through the conference with ease. Should you need help over the next few days, ask a PrimeMed staff who are all over the building or stop by the visitor center in the exhibit hall, or better yet, come see Rick here at the information booth. We're so glad you're joining us. 
It's our mission to continue offering top quality, cutting edge education in a format that you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I know how busy we all get. You'll go back to the office and get immersed in work. And I know you want to come back next year. So why not pre-register while you're here? That way it'll all be taken care of. Okay, this time I'm saying goodbye for real. Bye. It's really over. If you want more, you gotta click replay.